New England Cotton Tales Part 3. This uh, video is going to be about the ethical issues surrounding the endangered species of the New England Cotton Tail. So, the three main points that I want to get to that I think are ethical issues are um, restoring and preserving habitat, uh, talking about the invasive, quote unquote, species of the eastern cottontail, and of course hunting rabbits is an ethical issue. So first, uh, restoring and preserving habitat. Of course, since we've taken away a lot of the habitat, we would have to restore it first and then preserve it, keeping it the way it is, is what I mean by that. So should we do this? In my opinion, yes. Um, the reasons being that they were here first, uh, and I believe that native species and native ecosystems are important to protect for a whole slew of region, reasons. Hopefully, um, most people pretty much value uh, conserving the natural environment. So I want to move on to my second point, which is that we are responsible for specifically the decline of the New, Eng uh, New England cottontail rabbit. We own their struggles. They are ours. They're our fault. We need to, like, apologize and kiss and make up. Um, I believe we are obligated to compensate for the damage that we've caused. And what I mean by this is that we need to set aside some land specifically for the New England cottontail and other uh, organisms that would benefit from their habitat. We are not entitled to all of the land in the world. Some of it belongs to the other species that we have to coexist with. The next ethical question is about the other species of cottontail. Should we get rid of them? Should we try and remove them, reduce their numbers? What should we do about them? Uh, in my opinion, we should do nothing. <laughs> it seems a bit odd because they seem to be like the bad guy of the story, but they actually do belong in the environment as well. The two species have always had overlapping ranges, as far as we know. So, they're Supposedly, there is a story that we introduced the eastern cottontail to New England, but um, the information that we have says that the healthy New England cottontail population made up between 15 to 20 percent of all of the cottontail rabbits in its historic home range the one on the range map in the first video, part one, on that range map there's a uh, historical range when it, um, the range that this rabbit should have, that this rabbit is entitled to have. Um, even when it took up that entire range of all of the New England states, it made up about a fifth of all of the rabbits in the region. So the other 80 to 85 percent were eastern cottontails, again, as far as we know. So we have to assume um, that the eastern cottontail has done nothing wrong, uh, that they're just getting a bit overpopulated because of our damage in habitat. And so we shouldn't, and this is again my opinion, I believe we shouldn't focus so much on getting at the eastern cottontail, you know, and bashing them, and as uh, a species, they've done nothing wrong, um, they're not bad animals, <laughs> and it's, it's not even really an invasive species. They're just a bit overpopulated, and I have at the bottom there, the scale just needs to be balanced. We need to get the New England cottontail back up to 15 to 20 percent of the cottontail rabbits in its home range, as opposed to zero to ten percent in a few scarce patches of what it used to have. 
And lastly, uh, the issue of hunting. Now, I'm well aware that some people are against hunting in its entirety. And if you are against the hunting of all animals, regardless, no matter what, then this is a really simple question for you. Should we ban hunting of the New England cottontail? Uh, in my opinion, yes, and that's not because I'm against hunting all animals. This has nothing to do with that issue. I'm for uh, hunting limitations on the New England cottontail because they're an endangered species. And um, regardless of what you think about hunting, you should always protect endangered species. And then comes the problem with, well, what about the eastern cottontail? That's not an endangered species. People who agree with hunting would, um, you would think that, well, there should be no problem with hunting the eastern cottontail. It wouldn't harm, and it might even help, the New England cottontail to improve its numbers. It's, the problem is the identification. It's absolutely impossible to identify what species of rabbit you're looking at based on just physical characteristics. So, if you're going to ban the hunting of one, I think you have to ban the hunting of both species, all cottontail rabbits. And if there is no other way around that, then I think that's just going to have to be the way that it is, because there's no, there's no excuse for deliberately shooting a an, an endangered animal. There's, I find that unacceptable. So to recap, I uh, think that we should definitely, definitely, it, the biggest thing that you take away from this is that the New England cottontails need more habitat. We need to set that aside for them. Uh, some people may think that we should, you know, uh, get get rid of the eastern cottontails, um, sorry, just somehow do something to reduce their numbers, and I don't believe that's true. I think that they belong here as well. And then hunting, should we or should we not hunt rabbits? I don't think so because of the endangered predicament that the New England rabbit is facing. So go to animalethicsri.weebly.com slash New England Cottontails for more information. You, from there, you can like the Facebook page and be sure to leave me your comments below to tell me what you think about this issue. Thanks for watching.